after next year, the space shuttles that carried U.S. astronauts into orbit over the past 30 years will fly no more. The U.S. government, bowing to budget pressure, plans to retire the shuttle program in about two years. Then human exploration of space by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, is expected to end temporarily. Officials say development of a new system will take time. The U.S. Human Space Flight Committee told key members of the U.S. House that it would take at least another seven years before the U.S. will launch another human into space. Norman Augustine heads the Human Space Flight Panel. NASA has too long been placed in a position of been trying to accomplish more than the resources that it's given permit. We believe that to be wasteful and worse yet uh, very hazardous when dealing with uh, such a challenging field as human spaceflight which is highly unforgiving. Augustine, the retired CEO of aerospace manufacturer Lockheed Martin, says NASA needs $3 billion more annually to continue with its goals. The International Space Station, fully staffed with a crew of six, is dependent on the shuttle and the Russian space program to deliver crew members and material. The panel suggests the space station should fly until 2025, and the shuttles continue a few more years. Booster ignition and liftoff. Augustine told legislators it cost about two and a half billion dollars a year to fly the shuttle one or two times a year. But there are also safety issues. NASA's next human flight program is called the Constellation. The Ares-1 and Ares-5 launch vehicles would bring astronauts to low Earth orbit and to the moon. But all this takes time, so says spaceflight panel member Ed Crawley. That to build a new rocket will take a new human-rated rocket from either where we are in the Ares-5 or any fresh start of any type will take at least another five or six years. Democrat Gabrielle Giffords expressed anger and frustration with the report. Instead of focusing on how to strengthen the exploration program in which we've invested so much time, four years, billions of dollars, we have a glancing attention to Constellation, even referring to it in the past tense in your summary report. We've made no such recommendation. One of the options, option three, if you look at it, is to continue the existing program, but to fund it adequately. If we can't afford to do it right then we shouldn't do it. We should back off. It's unfair to the astronauts. It's unfair to the nation. It's the full the panel review will be sent to Congress later this month. Carolyn Pursuti, VOA News.